Virtual memory is a common part of most operating systems on desktop computers. The virtual memory program thinks it is a large range of contiguous addresses, but in reality the parts it is currently using are scattered around RAM, and the inactive parts are saved in a disk file. With virtual memory, what the computer can do is look at RAM for areas that have not been used recently and copy them onto the hard disk. This frees up space and RAM to load the new application. Windows 98 is an example of a typical operating system that has virtual memory. Windows 98 has an intelligent virtual memory manager that uses a default setting to help Windows allocate hard drive space for virtual memory as needed. In the minimum box, enter the smallest amount of hard drive space you wish to use for virtual memory on the hard disk specified. The amounts are in megabytes. For the C drive, the minimum should be 2 megabytes. The minimum figure can be anything you like, but one possible upper limit is twice physical RAM space. Windows default is normally 12 megabytes above the amount of physical RAM in your computer. To put the new settings into effect, close the dialog box and restart your computer. Programs use the virtual addresses rather than real addresses to store instructions and data. When the program is actually executed, the virtual addresses are converted into real memory addresses. Virtual memory is mapping from the addresses that running programs are using to the addresses of physical RAM. They almost never have any correspondence to each other. Memory is a particular virtual address that could come from any from a completely different physical address. If your paging file gets corrupted or too large, you will experience virtual memory and out of virtual memory errors. This can happen if you have too many programs running. If your hard drive is cluttered with corrupted files and registry entries, or if your RAM is damaged. The paging table moves segments of virtual memory into physical memory as needed to provide more memory to running processes. You gain no performance improvement by turning off the page file. When certain applications start, they allocate a huge amount of memory. Hundreds of megabytes typically set aside in virtual memory, even though they might not use it. If your computer CPU had to constantly access the hard drive to retrieve every piece of data it needs, it would operate very slowly. Now that you know what virtual memory is and how to install it, then you can get started on your work.